synonym meaning is nothing but we have to provide a different name or we can say alias name to a object is called as a synonym suppose person can have a multiple name we can say hello friends this is dk gautam and thank you for joining interview point in this video we will understand synonym in sql server so guys we need to understand synonym first and then we will proceed further so first what is the meaning of synonym synonym meaning is nothing but we have to provide a different name or we can say alias name to a object is called as a synonym suppose person can have a multiple name we can say suppose i am having a different name in school and in house i am having different name okay so my parents is calling from different time but in school they don't know my house name okay so like this we can create a synonyms in sql server so what is the benefit of uh, creating synonyms and all we will understand this all okay first we need to understand what is synonym actually it provides an alternative name for another database object reference to as the base object that can exist on a local or remote server suppose a database object that can be on the remote server or it can be on a local machine for that database object we have to provide a alternative name or we can say alias name and that alias name we can call it as a synonym okay so it provides a additional layer of abstraction that protects a client application from changes made to the name or location of the base object there is a table suppose on the remote server and i am on local machine i want to call that uh, remote server table so we just need to provide a alternative name to that object suppose there is an table name and that we have to provide that schema name and server name and then we have to provide the table name so to reduce this complexity we have to give a synonym to that object so that we can understand or we can remember okay this is the object so we can give a user friendly name to that object is called synonym okay so that's why why we are saying it is providing additional layer of abstraction actually it providing the security now a synonym belongs to a schema and like other object in a schema rules to create synonyms in sql server there are some rules to create a synonym so let's understand so first rule is a synonym must have a unique name just like other database objects in a schema so it must have a unique name uh, suppose there are five object in in a database so we cannot give same name to the to that five object okay suppose there are five tables so we cannot give a same name to to those five tables okay so the next point is a synonym cannot be a base object for another synonym so we cannot make a synonym to a base object for another synonym okay that is very important point to remember to don't make a base object for another synonym okay next point is a synonym cannot reference a user defined aggregate function okay so we cannot reference a user defined aggregate function as a synonym okay so let's understand what is the syntax to create a synonym in sql server database okay actually it is very simple to create a synonym in our database so let's understand so okay so this is a student table okay as of now i am calling like uh, i am executing select start from student okay suppose student i can give alias name as uh, stu okay and we can access this table but suppose i want to give a different name we as we can see here there are three column id name course okay id name course in the test tv there is one table student in this table we are having three column id name and course now i want to fetch the data of these two column okay so what i can write select name course from student okay we will get the data but i don't want this name should display as a name i want a different name so what i can do here as a student name suppose like this i don't want as a name but i want to display as a student name so we can provide a alias name like this okay student name here as is optional so if i will remove it then also we will get the same result okay as you can see we got the result let's understand the syntax of creating a synonym in sql server so it is very simple create synonym here it will be a schema name and here we have to provide a synonym name 
for object it might be a view or table anything okay it must be a database object okay suppose i want to create a synonym for this table okay in future what i can say suppose this is a table as of now but i want to call this table i don't want to call this as a student so i can create a synonym for this student table suppose this is a object is nothing but my student table and i want to give the synonym name as a uh, what we can say here dvo dvo is nothing but schema name and student name i want to call it as a student or we can say i want to call it as a stu i don't want to call it as a student okay so now see command completed successfully suppose if i will write here stu i will get the same result okay from stu you can see i got the result okay if i want if i want to remove it we can see we got the result and also we can put here star then also we will get the same result id name and course we got the result okay so like this we can create a synonym for a database object okay now it is very simple to create a synonym here the thing is suppose uh, i am having another database here sql tutorial db but what i want to do now i have selected sql tutorial db can i call this no it it is not accessible for me because in this database there is no stu table present okay so but here there is a different table suppose employee employee table is present here okay suppose i am able to execute this table or we can say i am able to call this table here in this database but i want to execute this table in this database so how to call it how to execute it it is so what we will do here we have to create a synonym here actually there you can see here you uh, we can see synonyms and here we have to we can see all the synonyms will be present here okay but i want to create a synonyms here and i want to access this student table in this database so that is little tricky so let's understand how to write a query to execute this okay let's move to the ppt to access table from different locations as i already told you i want to access a table from different database so what is the syntax select star from server name and here we have to provide database name schema name and then table name okay so let's write this so as of now in this sql tutorial db there is no synonyms present as you can see there is no synonyms present okay so and there is no student table but i want to uh, call this student table from this database to here okay so what i can write here so i can say create synonym dvo student for test db and here the schema name and student okay this is the object name and here it is a what is this it is a synonym name i can give it as a uh, stu okay i also can provide uh, complete name but for understanding purpose i am giving just stu so that you can understand easily now my synonym is created successfully suppose if i want to execute it here now you can see here sql tutorial db is selected now i will call this table okay so what i will write dvo dot stu if i will execute it we will get the result okay for this purpose it is very important to create a synonyms in our database okay so next example to create a synonym as i already told you create synonym here student for test db dvo and student so that i have already shown you okay create it by using ssms tool we can also create synonym by using ssms tool ssms is nothing but sql server management studio okay so let's understand how to create it okay so as of now i have given give the name as student and now i will execute this table in this only so let me refresh it now we can see there is one stu synonym is present okay i want to create a, a different synonym for the student table okay so i what i will do i will right click on this synonyms folder and new synonym and what i will write here so here we have to provide the synonym name suppose i will give here student okay student is my synonym name here uh, synonym schema i am i am not going to select it now here server name uh, this is not on server so i am not going to provide server name here database name is sql tutorial db okay 
here i want to call the table from this test db so i need to select the different database so we can say test db here it is very important to understand test db okay here schema schema is nothing but dbo or default schema is dbo okay dbo here object type object type is also so for me it is a table okay now the all the table will be visible in this object name okay from the this database okay if i will click on this drop down we can see student table okay so it is very simple to create a student by using the ssms tool okay just you need to click on okay button and your student is ready for use okay if i will call it here student and we can see the result here we go okay so we get the expected output okay guys so this is very important to understand how to choose synonyms and how to create a synonym for a object i hope you understood the topic if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment we'll see you in the next video thank you thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment please provide your feedback thanks